In this problem, it says a recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar, and you have one and a half cups of sugar in the pantry. If you have unlimited supplies of other ingredients, how many recipes would you could you bake? So it says write a number sense and use a model to solve. So what we're looking at here is we're trying to figure out how many half cups can fit into one and a half. So our problem becomes one and a half cups divided by the half cups because we want to find out how many of these half cups fit into one and a half cups. So if I go, that's my number sense. If I go ahead and draw my model, okay, so we have, here's one whole and half more, okay. I'm going to go ahead and separate these into halves just to make this easier. And then we have our half. So we're looking at trying to find out how many of these can fit into here. And what we're looking at is we could fill up our, we could make three recipes out of it because I have one can fit here, one can fit here, and one can fit here. So I would be able to make three recipes. In this problem, it says a new recipe calls for a third cup's sugar, and you have two and one third cups in the pantry. If you have unlimited supplies of every other agreement, how many recipes could you buy? So again, this is what the recipe calls for is a third of a cup. So we want to know how many third cups can fit into two and one third. So again, our number sentence is two and one third divided by one third equals what number, which would indicate how many recipes. So again, I'm going to go ahead and model two and one third. Here's one, here's two, and then I have to make another one for a third more, and I'm going to go ahead and split all of them into thirds. We know that three thirds makes a whole, another three thirds makes a whole, and then of course we have another uh, third here. So these would all be kind of colored in because these are this is what we need. And so one third looks like this. So I want to know how many of these can fit into here. So I see one, I see two, I see three, four, five, six, and seven. So we could make seven recipes with our uh, third cup measuring cup into two and one third cups of sugar. Now this problem, this time our recipe calls for a third cup of sugar and you have to, you have one and a half cups of sugar in the pantry. How many recipes can you make? And again, we're asking ourselves how many of those third cups can fit into one and a half. So our number sentence is one and a half divided by one third. Now in order for us to divide with an area model, we have to have common denominators. So we're going to change that into six on the bottom. I, I know two goes into six, I know three goes into six. We're gonna use that as our common denominator. So it becomes one and three six, because I multiply by three, and divided by two six. So when I go ahead and model it, I'm gonna show you here's one, and we have to go into another rectangle, and I'll split them into six. And then I have to model two six so I know what it looks like. Okay, so here's one, and then we're gonna have these um, three six more. And if you you can see, it's one and a half. Still looks like one and a half. And then we have two six. So we're trying to find out how many of these fit into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and count since this would all be colored in. This would be one, and another group of two six can fit here. So that's two three, and four. If I were to circle both of them, they would be five, but I only have half of it, so my recipe calls for four, it will be four and a half recipes that I could make. In this problem, it says Tiffany is making her moist cake recipe, but she only has a quarter measuring, a uh, quarter cup measuring tool. How many times can she fill, uh, how many times can she fill a quarter cup container up to uh, up to the correct amount of sour cream? And we're supposed to draw our picture to illustrate the solution and write an equation that represents the situation. So I'm going to come up here and I have to read my recipe and I need two cups of sour cream. So I need to find out how many quarter cups can fit into two cups. So my number sentence is going to be two divided by one fourth. 
So my picture is going to look something like this. I've got one. I've got two. And then I have to divide, I have to represent the fourth. So here's my one fourth. So each one of these is all colored in. I'm going to go ahead and separate them into fourths to make it look easier for us to figure out how many. So I want to know how many of these can fit in here. So here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Here's five. Here's six. Here's seven. And here's eight. So we could make... Um, eight, uh, we can fill it up eight times, excuse me, eight times. So our number sentence would be two divided by one fourth equals eight. In this problem it says how many times must you fill the quarter cup container up to put in the correct amount of milk? Draw a picture to illustrate your solution. Right equation represents the situation. So again I have my quarter cup container and I need to get enough milk for four cups. So how many quarter cups fit into four cups would be represented by this four divided by one fourth equals. So I represent my four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to represent my one-fourth so I know what it looks like. Here's one-fourth. So each one of these can be split into fourths so that we have an understanding of what we're doing because four-fourths makes one whole. And I want to find out how many of these we're going to fit in here. So we're going to count. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six, seven, and eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. She would fill up the cup 16 times in order to make get enough for uh, the milk recipe, for the amount of milk needed. In this problem, Tiffany doesn't know what she ordered, uh, what order she added the ingredients, but the last ingredient added required 12 quarter cups. So what was the last ingredient, and that should say Tiffany, added to the pudding so into her cake mix. So we need to draw a picture to illustrate this. So we basically, the number sentence is going to be set up like this. What number divided by quarter cups equals 12? So we need to figure out what that number is. So we can go ahead and start illustrating with our, if this was one cup, okay, it would take four quarter cups to make one cup. So I'm going to go ahead for with two cups. It would take eight now quarter cups. So I'm going to go ahead with three cups, and that would be 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uh, quarter cups in three holes. So our answer would be three divided by one fourth equals 12. So that would be three cups of pudding mix. You are stuck in a big traffic jam on the freeway and you are wondering how long it will take you to get to the next exit, which is a mile and a half away. You are timing your progress and find that you can travel two-thirds of a mile in one hour. If you continue to make progress at this rate, how long will it be until you reach your next exit? So we know that we're going two-thirds of a mile in an hour. Okay, and we have to travel one and a half miles. So, and since our problem is asking us to find out um, progress, uh, if you continue, how long will it take us? We want to know how many hours we're looking at finding one and a half divided by two thirds. So, how many two thirds, because this indicates an hour, are in one and a half miles? So again, I look at this problem, I don't have common denominators and I need to visually represent it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1 and 3 sixths, because both numbers go into 6, divided by 4 sixths. So I'll go ahead and represent. I got 1. I got to have another 1, and I'm going to separate into 6. This would all be colored in in three, six more. And then four, six, we'll show what that looks like so we know how to count. And here's four, six. So we want to know how many of these can fit into here. So I need, I get, I'm going in four groups. One, two, three, four. 
So here's one. So it's going to take me a, an hour. Then I've got one, two, three, four. So it's going to take me two hours. And since this is only one part of the four, my answer would be two and one fourth hours. You see, this is this here matches this here. So that's one out of the four. That's where I get that one fourth hours.